So I'm going to go over what I tell all of our customers at Lead Mining and, it, and, what it, and what our script is. And I've memorized this. And I think it would be a cool thing. And it, of course, I memorize it because it's happened thousands of times. But the quicker you get to that, the quicker you'll get to having quicker rebuttals stored, mm -hmm. understanding what they're saying and spitting out the right stuff. So here's our lead mining script. Uh, we go in, we try to sound confused in the beginning because we don't want it to sound like, you know, we do this 3,000 times a day. Um, we want to make it sound like we just picked up the phone for the first time. So here we go. Hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to bother. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 123 Sycamore Street. Yeah, that's me. Hi. Yeah, my name's Nicholas and I buy homes in the area. I was wondering if you've ever considered selling before. Yeah, I have. How much you want to offer? Oh, well, great. We don't normally make an offer till we find out that there's interest on your end. But if you got a couple minutes, I'd love to chat with you about the property. Sure, I got some time. All right, great. So now we go into a 16 question, up to 16 questions, I should say, depending on how they answer. We actually have if so's, if nots. We got all kinds of things programmed into our lead mining script. So they say, yeah, I have considered selling. How much you want to offer? We don't normally make an offer till we find out that you're interested. But if you got a couple minutes, let's chat. Then we go right into the questions. I'm going to rattle off as many as I can remember and probably the most important questions we ask. What, uh, any general repairs needed in the house? How old is the roof? When's the last time your bathrooms and kitchens were remodeled? Is the place currently rented? If so, what are the rents? What's your reason for selling? And then whenever they give you a reason for selling, you want to hit them with the, what's called an impact question. An impact question is something like, really? Or how does that affect you? You know, when someone talks about something, oh, boom, you almost want them to harp on it for a second because you want to find out if that's their true motivation. So when asking what's the reason for selling, you want to put a little bit more focus here and really make sure we talk about the reason for selling. Oh, well, I'm a tired tenant. Oh, well, how's that affected you? Oh, well, the, a couple of weeks ago, I had to freaking get the ladder out. I'm 75 years old. Get the ladder. Can barely lift it. My wife, she's got the other side of the ladder. We're carrying it out. I slip on a banana peel. Unbelievable. Now I'm in the hospital. Now I got to sell. You know, so like these kind of things happen, right? So you want to ask them about these things. Um, Make sure you probe the reason for selling. After the reason for selling, those first five questions, I'll repeat them real quick. Any general repairs needed? How old's the roof? When's the last time the kitchens and baths were updated? Is the place currently rented? And what's your reason for selling? Those first five questions will give you enough rapport to get in to more downer and dirtier questions. Like the one that probably gets the most kickback is is there currently a mortgage on the property for some reason people get really weird about numbers okay is there a mortgage on the property uh, yes there is if so how much is left on the mortgage no there's not oh there's not okay well would you be interested in owner financing you know for you guys as the client and for your vas out there working it is absolutely imperative that we get all this information from the seller okay we've got to make sure that everything gets taken off everything gets taken down we've got all the notes i always say at lead mining we don't qualify the lead we ask all the qualifying questions okay just like charles said i don't know what an offer is on your house you know my team we're not national comping experts nationwide we are a bunch a series of handsome smart intelligent Americans, okay, that's what we are, who get on the phone and are willing to do things because we get to work from the comfort of our own home. A lot of people, they have a hard time working with their, uh, with their cold callers or their VAs.